Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews on How To, and on today's video we're going to show you how to fix problems with your Microsoft Surface Pen, and also how to fix some of the Bluetooth issues. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix potential issues and Bluetooth problems with your Microsoft Surface Pen. And this is from a Surface Pro 3, but it pretty much applies to most of the models. So we're going to go through, show you how to change the batteries, how to re-establish the Bluetooth connectivity, and hopefully that should fix most of your problems. So some of the things you're going to need to perform this is obviously some new batteries. Now, the batteries you'll need for most of these type of pen devices is the quadruple A battery, as shown here in the Duracell pack. You can get them from other brands, but I find Duracell to last obviously a lot longer, and they're pretty reasonably priced. We will be putting some affiliated links in the video description, so if you want to pick up some of these batteries for your particular pen, then feel free to do so. Also in the Microsoft Surface Pen, there is also another set of batteries. So you've got a main battery, which it provides power for the nib and the buttons there, but there's also a couple more batteries actually in the top section, which controls the actual button. So if you use the button to bring up apps such as OneNote and all those kinds of things, then you may actually need to change the batteries in that also. These generally do last an extremely long time. Now I've had this Surface Pro for probably about four or five years now, and the batteries seem to be okay, but we'll go through the process of finding out which batteries they are and actually how to remove them also in the video. So let's begin with the easy one. So the easy one is the main battery itself. So enable to do that, all you need to do, hold onto the pen and just untwist the bottom section whilst holding the top and you'll find after a while it becomes easily accessible. You may find if you've already got a battery in there, it may be slightly corroded. There is also on a lot of these actually like a little plastic tab in there, which tells you how the batteries go in and what sort of battery it is. Uh, mine's actually disappeared long, long ago. So with this open, what we want to do now is to grab one of our batteries. And with the battery, you want the positive end to go in head first. So grab the actual barrel, grab your battery, head first, and straight in. So that is the easy part. And in most cases, all you need to do now is just to put it all back together and you should find that the pen works absolutely fine. If for some reason it doesn't, then you may need to replace the batteries in the top section as well, which is the kind of Bluetooth connectivity. And in order to do that, it's a little bit more fiddly. So in the actual spring loaded section here, normally you'd think you'd just unscrew that, but there is actually a very, very small inner thread in there. Now you may need to use a small uh, screwdriver such as this, and there is a little indentation which you can just put the screwdriver into and gently move it around. Once it becomes slightly loose, you can then rotate it off as you would kind of normally and unscrew in an anti-clockwise direction until the capsule is ready to pull off. Now I would suggest holding it up this way because the batteries are kind of held in loosely and they're actually contained within this tiny subsection. The batteries in here are the 319 type coin battery and there's actually a pair of them. They are put in with the positive side on the top. So if you look into the actual barrel itself, you'll see that there's a plus sign on the top. So if you tip those out, you find there's these two tiny little batteries. So again, they go in with the kind of the button side downward. One and two. And you should find if they're incorrectly, then it should be pretty much completely level. So again, if you do need to change your batteries, go ahead and do so. When you've changed the batteries, then you can then put the capsule over the top again and carefully tighten it up until it won't go any further. If you want to, you can again, using the screwdriver, just tighten up a little bit, but generally just hand tight is absolutely fine. So that is the batteries in there changed. My batteries I've already tested, they're absolutely fine. It was the main one in the actual barrel itself, which actually did need changing. So then you can screw it all back together and that essentially should mean it works straight away. Now, depending on how long or if you've maybe done a fresh installation of your Windows operating system on your Surface, you may need to recalibrate or actually reinitialize the Bluetooth connection. So next, I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you want to do is on the button on the top, press and hold it for a few seconds until there is a green flashing light, which appears actually in between the bits of the kind of the pocket holder. And when that's flashing, then you can go over to your Windows desktop and go into Bluetooth settings. In order to show you this a little bit clearer, I'm gonna move the camera around so you can see exactly how it's done. So now hopefully you can see the screen a little bit better. So again, make sure that the, uh, the light is flashing actually on the pen. 
Then you can go into Bluetooth and other devices and choose add a Bluetooth or another device and then choose Bluetooth and then hopefully it should come up straight away in your additional devices. Now if you've got other Bluetooth devices obviously they'll turn up as well but we're going to just choose Surface Pen and it should say connecting and there we go, ready to, ready to go. So once you click done you should find then that when you press the button on the end then your selected app will open. Now I've changed mine so it opens the Microsoft Store and if you do two clicks it will bring up the Snip and Sketch app so yeah, you can go on and then you can do your sketches etc right on the screen. So that is uh, essentially how to change the batteries and also re-establish the Bluetooth connection in your Surface Pro Pen. Okay, so there you go, pretty straightforward, pretty simple to do and actually saves you a lot of time and effort and actually a lot of people do end up just buying a new one of these when really you don't need to, all it needs is replacement batteries and resyncing on the Bluetooth. So if this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and all that other kind of YouTube stuff. If you do want to pick up some batteries for your Surface Pen, links will be in the video description. But in the meantime, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.